Hello my friends, this is a video from my friend Arthur from uh, Northwest Melbourne who sent me this uh, Sony CDP338 ESD. He has a similar unit and didn't want to send his over to me because it cost about 120 or 130 dollars for a return trip from Melbourne to Perth. So um, what causes those uh, most of the problems are caused by limit switches getting dirty with time. But here's one of those. I bet they use my left hand, so don't obstruct the camera view. Uh, so uh, this is the one that is responsible for telling the server the trace for the in, and there is another one that is uh, dirty in his units and sits underneath the tray there. It is reasonably easy to uh, fix that in um, 338. Firstly, you remove that front panel, you know, which sits there on the, um, on the tray, couple of screws. Then you remove the whole mechanism, which is four screws, so you get it into this state. And then uh, the easiest thing is to flip the whole thing over, and here are the two switches to get uh, access to them, four tabs to here to there, you know, one, two, three, four, spread them, the board will come out and then clean the switches with um, uh, electronic cleaning solvent. Um, what you do uh, with that is that they have uh, covers on them, those covers act as levers and you should sort of pull them out gently with some tweezers, clean the contacts and reinstall the uh, the covers. So that's that. Um, another more complex thing in this unit is a belt replacement. This is a belt here that drives the tray. There's a motor underneath that drives this pulley which drives the gear that's uh, inside there which drives this gear and that in turn drives the tray. Uh, it is not as easy um, to do. Uh, the well, it's not rocket science, but it's more laborious. So there are two screws at um, both sides that hold the bridge. Bridge has to be removed in order to get to the tray. So the two screws, there's a third screw here on the right hand side, which um, is responsible for locking of a laser. So that has to come out as well. And the rest is its, it's trace, um, not the tray, the bridge is held by two tabs at the back. You just have to put your fingers there and spread it and probably one each side after another, one side after another, so you don't put unnecessary uh, strain on that. So once you have it out, then you flip the whole mechanism and you have to remove that tube. This is a tube on which the tray glides. So a couple of screws to remove that bar, then a tube will slide out. And once you have that, you have full access to the three gears. Uh, remove them um, and uh, the, the trick that is most annoying is that it's sort of held captive here by a C-clip. So what I do not to use the C-clip, I use a strong magnet from old hard drives and uh, keep it close when I flick it with the screwdriver so it doesn't fly out into the dark corner of the workshop. So uh, then you just replace um, the belt, cleaning the, the grooves of both pulleys, the one on the motor and that one there, from remnants of the old belt. So, and then you reinstall it going backwards um, paying again close attention to that C-clip so that uh, you will not um, lose it when pushing it in. Uh, or it's sort of, you know, we just reverse the procedure with the exception of that you have to get the thi things right. You see that gear there, it pivots and it sort of travels in the channel in the tray. And if you look here, uh, this is the channel. You know, this is where that pulley travels in. So um, any of, most of those, you know, I can't say any, uh, mechanisms, when you reassemble them, you either do them in um, with the tray fully in or fully out. I've done this one with tray uh, fully in, 
and I parked that pulley at the beginning. So you know that it's in the uh, right spot. So uh, once you have it there, I sort of put the CD. So I know that if the CD rests on the turntable, it fills the, um, the tray evenly. So you know that it's not, you haven't missed a tooth or something. So it's, it travels perfectly, you know, all the way. So, um, and then once you have that, you, you then push the bar in, install, or push the tube in, install the bar, and, um, and then get the bridge back in. So that's about all, folks. And also, um, as far as this uh, eBay auction local pickup, if you happen to be in uh, Southeast Melbourne or Sydney, I sometimes need somebody to pick up something and send it to me. Just need someone to pick up and pack, and I'll organize the courier. So what you get for that is um, either help, remote help with your CD player, or you can send it over and have it serviced for free. Uh, every now and then. So thank you very much. If, if you're from those areas, um, please get in touch with me and uh, we'll set up um, some kind of arrangement. Well, thank you very much and till the next one. Bye-bye.